Good old Wednesday morning. Here's Dad's 5500 he just picked up. We went and cut some trees out this morning out of uh, doing some dozer work just here north of his house, north of the yard. So uh, he went in to run in to see when they could put his bed because he just swaps beds like I do. Soon they could put the bed on his new truck. It's a pretty good looking truck. It's a 2018 5500 Dodge. Yeah, Cummins. It's a, it's a good looking truck. Got the same kind of tires. Probably the wheels probably bolt right up to my truck too. Same tires. I mean the exact same tires on his or on mine. Well, oh, them are some heavy, heavy duty tow hooks. My gosh. It's a, it's a little bigger. Dad was kind of showing me, showing it around to me a little bit ago. It's heavy. I mean, it's heavy suspension. Look how big those brakes are. It's a big axle. Big shocks. Now, Dad, he just runs a 60 inch cab to axle truck, just a standard single cab. <clears throat> And much like the last one, I'm sure this one will never get drove either. I think his last one, his 3500 Dodge, might have had 6,000 miles on it when he traded it. But he likes to have them to use every now and then. Got that nice new truck smell on it. Now this one does have a backup camera. Which... I have no idea. I guess maybe that little screen on the dash or in the mirror, maybe. It might be in the mirror. Now, the thing I do like about the Dodge single cabs is they've got a lot more room behind the seat. Whereas the Fords have absolutely no room. No room behind the seat of a Ford. And it's pretty... And the reason I don't have Dodges, because Dodges are cheaper. I mean, they, they are. They're significantly cheaper than a Ford. I could have got a, a four-door 5500 Dodge for a lot less than what I paid for my Power Stroke. But there's just... I spend a lot of time on my truck. And to me, Dodges are just kind of plain. I mean, they're... To me, they're a fleet truck. They're a company truck. Uh, they're, they're just plain. I can see it's got the Bluetooth system here where you can talk. Kind of like mine does. I'm sure it has about everything. Mine does minus a few things. But I buy the Lariats. Like my new truck's a Lariat. My new, the new truck I've got ordered, the 2018. It's a, of course it's a Lariat just like mine. But there was a few changes on it. But, the, I mean, they are. They're, they're nice trucks. They're work trucks. You know, that Cummins engine, it's a good engine. But I'm just, just not a Dodge fan. I don't know where Dad got on this Dodge kick. You know, back in 2002... He decided he was going to have a Dodge truck. And he got an old, it was a 24 valve back then. It, it was a good looking truck, silver, like this. Dad likes the silver color. His little Dodge Dakota silver. And it was a, it, it was a Haas, you know, six speed manual transmission in it, in a one ton, so that 24 valve, 5'9. It was a good running truck. Then he, he had the 604 the first year it came out, and we absolutely hated it. Luckily, I say luckily, I was in a pretty bad car accident with it. I got hit. I was just out of high school. I was going on a parts run to Springfield with John Deere, and I got hit on the way. And it's a wonder it didn't kill me or hurt the girl that hit me any more than it hurt her. But I rolled the truck five times. This truck was destroyed. I mean, totally destroyed. It was kind of a blessing because that truck was a steaming pile. And Dad didn't go back to Ford. He stayed with Dodge for a long time. And when Ford came out with the new 6.7 and, and 11, he bought a the new 6.7 Power Stroke in 2011 and absolutely loved it. Traded it, went back to Dodge. And growing up, that's all my dad would have was Ford trucks. Everything was Ford. My mom drove Cadillacs. She was a she was a Cadillac woman. Dad likes Cadillacs too. I like, I had a 77 Eldorado. I love Cadillacs. I like the big old Cadillacs, so the the battleships. Something we could set sail in, mount a 12 inch gun on. But now it's, uh, like I said, Dad, he's he's into the Dodgers now. He likes them. Like I said, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm kind of anxious to 
see how it pulls. I think Dad said this truck has a 444 gear ratio in it. So it's low geared. Where my truck has the 488s, but I special ordered mine. This truck was sitting on the lot up there. Uh, he got this out of Springfield, Missouri at Corwin Dodge. See there, kind of on the fender Corwin. Uh, I mean, there's not there's not a whole lot to, to touch on and talk about on the truck. I mean, it's like I said, they're just pretty plain and simple. He did have these running boards put on yesterday. Kind of, you know, way he can kind of help him get up in the truck a little bit, you know. Make sure the mirrors fold out. I mean, they're like I said, they're they're good looking trucks. They're just not for me. I'd rather. I'd rather pay the extra and have the creature conference of the power stroke for the Ford. But one thing I, I do like, he's, uh, he does have the backup camera, you can see there. He'll have the backup camera on his, that's, that's, a, that's awesome, that's a great deal. The one thing I do like about Dad's is it is short, you can get around really good with it. It uh, gets in tighter places. It, the shorter wheelbase on it, of course, in the regular cab, just makes getting around easier. Where mine's got the, we've got an extended cab with a, with a longer wheelbase. I've got a 192 inch wheelbase because I've got all the, you know, the utility bed with the air compressor in front of the welder and all that. But, you know, mine's set up to go to work. Yeah, Dad, he's he's pretty pretty happy with, pretty proud of it. Which I'm, like I said, I'm excited to put a load behind it and see how it does with that, uh, that 5500. Cause I mean, I'll, I'll tell you now, anybody that knows diesel engines, those Cummins engines, I mean, they're, they're nothing to poke fun at, man. They're, they're pulling engines. They're made for pulling. And it's not so much the Cummins engine I don't like, cause I do like the Cummins engine. It's just everything that surrounds the Cummins in, engine with the Dodge truck that it's the transmissions, it's the front ends. And I mean, this is this has got an automatic. I'm not even sure you can get a new Dodge truck in, with a standard transmission. You you might. I know Ford and Chevy. You can't get them anymore. A standard. Ford. The only thing Ford makes in a standard transmission is a Mustang and a Focus. You cannot get a like the the Power Strokes. You cannot get the Power Strokes with a with a six speed manual anymore. It's everything's automatic. Which I'm, you know, the automatics anymore, guys. They're they're in tune. They're they're not like they were 20 years ago. The automatics now everything's computerized and, man, they know when you got a load behind you. They know when to shift. Just they're they're really in touch. And that transmission, my Power Stroke, it's a it's a great transmission. That torque shift. That's Dad's 5500 Dodge. He uh, he's gonna have a guy here in town that hit swapped his. That he builds the beds. He built my bed. You know, he they he that's all they do. They mainly build beds, truck beds, all size of truck beds. And he's gonna have him swap the bed. Of course, he swaps them every year. So it'll be a it'll be a good good looking truck when he gets it done. I'm like I said, he probably won't hardly ever drive it, but. He's got it. Like that's the first time he's ever had a 5500. But the, I mean, this is the first time I've ever had a 550. But after having this 550 for work, I'll never go back to a 350. Won't do it. These 550s are just—they're they're, made—they're made to work, man. You know, just with the heavier suspension, everything's heavier on them. That's what I like. Cause I mean, I've, my truck's a load already with the bed and everything on my bed. Then pulling a pinnel hitch trailer, whether it be the skid steer or log skidder. I like knowing I can go to work and I can work. They're they're not a cheap truck, that's that's no doubt about it. But and they really they hold their value good. They they it would surprise me they how well these trucks hold their value. But yeah, that's that's dad's new toy, that's dad's new truck. As soon as we slap a bed on it, we'll uh We'll let you know something there. We'll take we'll take a video when he gets the bed on. But like I said, his trucks are they're pretty plain. They're um, they're like I said, that was sitting on the lot, so it's more like a fleet vehicle. Where like I said, mine, you know, I order mine to spec. You know, they build them. You know, it'll it'll be they told me it'll be ten weeks at least, ten to twelve before my new truck gets here. They said six, but we all know that ain't gonna happen, especially with the holidays coming up.
which was fine because I told them when I wanted it to kind of I kind of got an idea when I want to take delivery of a new truck so yeah that's that's dad's truck buckle my seat belt away we go well I hope you enjoyed that little video I'm gonna go ahead and post this video today just to the truck uh, hopefully when we go back I'll take some video like I said we were working out on my cousin's farm this morning and I wish we had all the timber we'd ever cut off his farm. It's a big, beautiful farm right up on the river. The bluffs that overlook the river. He was dozing out some timber for a new fence row this morning. We do a lot of work behind dozers and track loaders. We, we do a lot of work behind clearing projects, always have. Uh, and it's not necessarily that I like doing work like that because it is work. It's just that it's work. It is work. Every tree's dirty. You got to bark every tree. We started taking a leaf blower down there and blowing the dirt off the trees after they push. Because when they push them up and uproot them, that dirt flings up in the bark. Rocks, dirt. Cause here in Missouri, we ain't got much. Here in southwestern Missouri, Missouri, should I say, we ain't got much dirt. We got rock. A lot of rock. So we, we take a leaf blower a lot of times and blow all that stuff out. That way you don't have any rocks to the chain. Another reason why we've, we run 404 chain on everything, why we like to run the 404, it just withstands a little more abuse than the 3 and um, I'm sure some guys will argue that fact. Fine, argue it. I don't care. I mean, it's, that's why we run it. I, I can tell you from running both of them. I mean, that's that's my that's been my own personal experience, my own personal opinion. My dad will tell you the same thing. Just the 404 is made to handle just a little more abuse. So uh, we'll try to get some video of that this afternoon. Like I said, I'll go ahead and release this video right now. Well, yeah, yeah, we might go ahead and release it here pretty quick. It's about 11 o'clock we'll get it out there kind of give you guys something to watch early today we'll start uh, working on tomorrow's video i planned on being over on the creek where i was yesterday barking trees i planned on being over there cutting today uh, met up with dad this morning they were pushing up there he went up there last night and was cutting a little bit actually he said we needed to get up there and cut those to cut, try to stay up with them so and they were pushing out trees this morning as we were there cutting i can't my old rough buddy kent there just passed on the road uh, so that, that's, and we got to go back up there. Dad wants to check on that. He's only with the Mac. We're going to go up there. I don't think I'll have to take the skid steer up there to feed logs. I, and a lot of times I would just assume, because a lot of them are walnut, mainly what we cut out this morning are walnut, some hackberry, some oak, just whatever's in the, in the fence line they were going to push out. And a lot of times I do like to take the skidder, the skid steer in places like that, just to handle the logs a little easier because those, those track hose were not made for finesse work handling high dollar logs. They're hard on I me. Mean, they're hard on things. Not, I, me and Brandon want a track or a track loader real bad. We want a track hoe too. But we'll get up there, try to get those bunched up, and get them on the yard. Tomorrow's a sell day. We're gonna we're gonna unload everything on the yard tomorrow. That's the plan. It's supposed to happen Monday. Got a phone call early Monday morning. It got pushed back. So hopefully we'll get it unload everything tomorrow. Uh, get rid of those and start piling in the next bunch. You know, just keep. It's just a never-ending cycle. So, guys, we can get off here. Thanks a lot for hanging out with us, following along. Check us out, Instagram, Facebook, Turner Logging LLC. Obviously, here on YouTube, so give us a like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good, glorious stuff. LoggerThreads.com, L-O-G-G-R-T-H-E-D-H-R-E-A-D-S. -E -E Logger Threads. I can't spell. I'm dumb. So, uh, check that out, too, for all the clothing and apparel needs. Awesome stuff. High-quality apparel. Not that cheap stuff you're going to get at Walmart, Kmart, or the dollar store. This is this is stuff that's going to hang with you for a while. Always working on new designs. Got some new stuff coming out. Of course, the quicker we liquidate what we got, the quicker we can get them new designs rolling in. So I appreciate everybody's orders. So guys, check all that out. There goes Dad, so I better turn around. I was going to go in here and get something to drink. but So check all that out. Guys, we will see you tomorrow. Later.